Right, I was really skeptical if it could fly with all this shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on. Woo! <laughs> Okay, well, that was fun. Right, so the first thing, the first thing that I got as an accessory was glass. Because I was really, really worried that this was going to scratch. But because I have glass, I don't have to care. Today we're talking about DJI Mini Free Pro accessories. Ones I actually have, there are not going to be any Amazon screenshots in this video. And I'm going to start off with filters. If I had to buy one thing, just one thing, it would be filters. Um, you know, it's because I like all my stuff to look professional and cinematic. Freewell make awesome filters. Polar Pro do too. I don't have the Polar Pro ones. I have the Freewell ones. And the only problem is they are ND64 Max, apart from the long exposure 1000 and 2000. I know Freewell are working on ND128 and 256, which would really help because it's not like the Mini 2 or the Mavic 3 where ND16 and 32 is enough, but the 1.7 lens, the aperture in it, is just so wide open and you can't, you know, turn it down or anything. So ND128 is probably the perfect one to have. But anyway, the standards are really cool. They're great. You can use them in any situation. The ND hybrids, so the circular polarizers, are pretty cool, but they could, you know, slightly change your sky when you're not at the right angle to the sun and dialed in perfectly. So you've got to be aware of that. So if I did have to choose one of these, I would go with the standards. Just a quick note, NDs do not polarize or get rid of reflections. Circular polarizers do, just in case you've been, you know, driven down the wrong road by somebody. Just, just, just putting that out there. But that is the one thing I'd get. And, you know, DJI sent me the fly mod kit. They said, Phil, just take it, just take it. It is what you need. And I'm like, fine, if you think so. But they were right because, you know, having a battery charger that charges all of them and I don't have to care about changing the batteries around and having the bag, I mean, this is the best bag in the world. It's tiny, you, you know, you, you strap it on, you, you go up into the mountains and you're not carrying a huge case or a backpack. You, you just have this and everything fits in here, including the filters and everything. Best bag in the world. Don't buy a huge case, you don't need it. Don't buy a landing pad, you don't need landing pads. Now that I've got that out of the way, I still have one more thing the um, RC adapter for your handlebar has been out for about two months as of the making of this video and um, it's pretty damn cool if you are a cycling enthusiast or you have a scooter you can basically you know screw it in which is the only downside because you have to you know screw it in but it takes what 30 seconds and then you can have it on your handlebar you are hands-free riding up a mountain or something and you have your mini free pro in follow mode Boom! That is awesome. Very well made, metal, and it's got a GoPro attachment that connects to the actual RC attachment. So you can put a GoPro on there if you don't have your RC. Whatever you guys are into, it's really cool. Now to the actual rest of the accessories. Sunny Life. And it's just, it's, take it anywhere with you. And it's got this kind of shade because I find myself in a situation where I'm flying and I can't see shit. I already can't. I have the RC and I'm like, that's how I'm flying. That's how I was flying in the Dolomites. I couldn't see anything that was so bright. If this would have come a week earlier, I would have been a lot more confident and comfortable. It does a really good job of shading the actual screen and you have control of everything really nicely, you know, put together. So it's something I really, really recommend. It's an actual accessory that you'll actually, actually use. Foldable landing feet. And they're really cool. They're by Start RC, who have actually written to me, not hundreds, but thousands of times. 
and um, I buy their stuff for like, I don't know, what is it, two, three, four dollars, so I don't really need to work with them unless they offer me a whole load of money. But um, this is great, because I mean, it's this thin, and you can take it any way you want, and if you want a pair of landing legs, which are pretty damn awesome, you can just have them on your drone and they cost you hardly anything. Ooh, this is great. It has a quarter 20 and it also has a GoPro attachment. So it means you can put a GoPro on an uh, Insta360 if you really want to, or the Action 2, which I love to pieces because it's so small it will just basically go on anything. You can have the Action 2 filming backwards and you can have your drone filming forwards and you have some great shots, especially with this wide, wide, wide lens. And it's got these little grooves at the bottom that will click onto the feet at the bottom of your drone. So that's really, really sweet. It's got rubber so it won't scratch up your drone if you care about that at all. Light. So this is a, what is it, sunny life. And you can either be the Popo, you can be the Fire Brigade, you can be an alien, or you can do light trails, which is really, really great. It's USB-C chargeable. It's got Velcro with a sticker, or you can put a rubber band around one of, you know, your arms and you know it does a good job it comes with extra bands and all that stuff funky thing if you're flying at night and you need to be seen prop holder by a company called brdrc i have a few things from them for the mavic 3 and it's actually really well made it definitely won't break and it will stop your props from flying around and pissing you off so that's it also costs a little bit and it also locks onto the feet so it doesn't go anywhere. So that does a really nice job. We all love throwing our balls down the bowling alley. I mean, you grab your balls, you throw them down. It doesn't matter what happens, you're always gonna score. And that is beautiful. And that's the same with these guys. You put these on your drone, you fly in a church, you hit the altar, you're like, Pfft. nothing happened, sir, Mr. Priest. But um, without these, you might be in a world of trouble. And I think if Luke would have had these a week ago in the Dolomites, he wouldn't have crashed his Mini Free Pro into a tree. It would have probably just bounced off and it would have kept on going. So these are actually pretty cool and they fold. So you can, you know, take them anywhere you want. So in case you need, you know, the bowling alley, throw your balls anywhere kind of thing, get yourself those. This I hate with a passion, even if you do use Matthew's, um, it, it, I mean, he says go straight down, stick it in, put just, thanks Matt. Um, the creme de la creme. So when we're talking about this, well, this is all about balance, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about balance and if you have it properly balanced, you don't need to worry about anything. I mean, it's it's gonna be fine, but it is awesome. The best thing I can possibly buy for my drone, and it's not only for safety, so say you are flying over water a lot and your drone gets in a bit of trouble, which has happened to us before, and it might land this way, but it could land this way or this way. It doesn't matter it's going to float. It doesn't matter. You can go back, you can get it, you can take your drone and you can be like, so the flyaway costs how much? Four million pounds? Okay, well, I'll just, you know, send in my drone, it's got a bit of water damage and I'll take the um, refresh, which costs $10. Thanks for that. Another thing is you can land on water. Like if you have the balls, which if, if you didn't throw them down the bowling alley, you can land on water, which is the most fun in the world. It's like <sighs> skiing down a mountain, full speed, naked. It just gives you a massive thrill. It's a ton of fun. And if you balance it properly, I've got to tell you, it works. It really does. And I will prove that to you like I've done quite a few times. I mean, I've landed my drone on water a lot of times. Not once has it capsized because you need to balance these in your kitchen sink before you actually land on water, unless you are crazier than I am. So yeah, those are, I don't know, 10, 12 accessories. It's probably in a title for your DJI Mini 3 Pro. 
that are not pictures from Amazon and are actually real. I have them here, I've tried them before, and it's basically different drone, same shit. Any questions, any comments, all this stuff is going to be down below, linked right there if you want to pick it up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do, because after I've finished playing around with all this crap, the cinematic videos are coming, and uh, that's what I'm really all about. Catch you guys soon. Remember, NDs do not polarize your image.